Hi, in this video, I'll be covering the derivatives overlay strategy using interest rate swaps. So in the syllabus, you can use either a pay fixed interest rate swap or a receive fixed interest rate swap to alter the basis point value of your asset portfolio. So if you want to increase the overall BPV of your portfolio, you will use a receive fixed interest rate swap. But if you want to reduce the overall basis point value of your portfolio, you will have to use a pay fix interest rate swap. Now let's look at this example. We have a London-based asset manager who has a view that yields will decline. So in this case, the asset values will increase, but and the liability values will also increase. And as such, he wants to use interest rate swaps to immunize a portfolio of long-term debt liabilities. Where the market value is 300.25 million pounds, the modified duration is 8.2, with a basis point value of £246,205. Currently, the asset portfolio has a market value of £320.13 million and modified duration of 7.6. So the basis point value for the asset portfolio is £243,299. The asset manager has negotiated a 20-year receive fixed interest rate swap with the commercial bank, where the swap will have a basis point value of 0 0.1228 per 100 pounds of notional principal. So let's calculate the swap notional required in order to close the duration gap between the liability and the asset. So using the equation, we have the asset BPV, and then we'll add in the HBPV, which is using the interest rate swap, and this should be equals to the liability BPV. So we know that the asset BPV is 243,299, okay, and the liability BPV is 246,205. So if we fill in the missing blank, then the HBPV should be equals to 2,906. So it will be a positive increase here for the H. So a positive BPV would refer to a receive fix interest rate swap. And just to recap, for a receive fixed interest rate swap, the BPV is positive, but for a pay fixed interest rate swap, the BPV is negative. So in this case, how do we get this amount of BPV from the IRS? And we are given that for every 100 pound notional, the BPV is actually 0 0.1228. So this HBPV here, we can further expand this, okay, into, so the HBPV will be the swap notional, the swap notional, multiplied by the swap BPV. So this should be equals to 2,906. So the swap notional is what we are trying to look for. Let's call it SN. And the swap BPV is 0 0.1228 for every 100 pound notional. So let's divide by 100. And now if we solve this, so the swap notional is equals to 2,906 multiplied by 100 over 0 0.1228 so that will be equals to so in pounds that will be 2,366,450 if I round it to the nearest whole number so this is the amount of uh, swap notional that we need so if the fund manager wants to lower the amount of notional here then he will have to use a longer duration swap rather than 20 year maybe negotiate for a 30 year uh, in receive fixed interest rate swap. But bear in mind that the longer the duration of the swap, then the more sensitive the swap value will be when there are changes in the swap rates.